What made you want to serve in the state legislature? Well, I've had a lifetime love affair of politics, and when I was uh, actually 10 years old, I was a self-appointed Nixon for president, campaign chairman in my grade school. And, uh, you know, I learned about issues as a young boy and uh, realized how important and how fragile our freedoms are and how great it is. And, you know, I used to think a lot about it when I was young that how come I live here in a country where we're free and the other people don't? And I realized it was a real fragile thing and it's a real gift. So I've just always had the desire to support our country and to, uh, to serve. President Kennedy challenged us when he was inaugurated in 1961, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. And as, as a, a boy of 11 years old, I took that, uh, I took it seriously. And so I've been, uh, been here all, ever since. What's your favorite part about the 13th District and why? My favorite part of the 13th District extends from the top of Snoqualmie Pass to the other side of Reardon. It's an incredible place with incredible people. And it doesn't matter where I go in the district, the people are just so warm, they're so receptive, they have a great love of the land. We are an agriculture district. And I tell you, I could live anywhere in the 13th District and be happy. It wouldn't matter which town. Who is your favorite U.S. president and why? Well, actually, I have three favorite U.S. presidents. President Harry Truman being the first, and, I, and he, is, uh, he falls in that category because he had the ability to make decisions that were extremely tough. You know, he made the decision whether to drop the atomic bomb on Japan or not. And he uh, was given this information. He didn't really know the Manhattan Project before he was president. It was kind of dumped on him. And he was given an opportunity. They said, we'll have a bomb ready to go. And it's his decision. He asked, how long do I have? And I think they told him something like a couple of months to make the decision. And at the end of two months, he made the decision. And it was a monumental decision that he had to make, knowing the loss of lives that was going to result. That was huge. Okay. Um, my second favorite president is John Kennedy. And because of what Kennedy believed, he inspired us to be all we could be. And in that same speech we talked about earlier, you know, he said we could put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. And he inspired Americans to do just that, and we did. And, so, and then there's President Reagan. President Reagan had an optimism and a belief in this country that has really been unequaled, in my opinion, you know, from all the presidents we've had. He, he made us believe in ourselves. He gave us an optimistic outlook, no matter how things may look bleak. You know what? It's okay. Things are good. We're facing some issues today that, that make the country look a little tough. But, you know, it looked a little tough in 1862. And, you know, America overcame that, and we'll overcome it today. And that comes, uh, my President Reagan has given me optimism. What do you think the greatest invention is in your lifetime, and why? Well, I think the airplane is the greatest invention in my, my lifetime, and not because I'm a pilot. But, you know, I am in aviation. But, you know, we went from horse and buggy to all of a sudden we're in the air. You know, automobiles were coming along at that time, but all of a sudden we're in the air. And we realized, you know what, we can do this. We can do anything we want to do. And we did it. And because we were able to do that, go from, you know, the little Wright Brothers flyer to, we went to the moon, you know, and it's all part of aviation. These things inspired us to look and believe in ourselves that we could do that. And I think aviation, the airplane, really began that. If you could choose one vacation destination, where would you pick and why? Well, I'm going to go back to the 13th District. You know, that's my home, and I love it there. You know, I just, I've traveled this country. You know, I've been a pilot for 40 years, a corporate pilot. I've traveled this country, and I've been there. But, you know, there's just something about the 13th District that's an incredible place to be. From the pine trees and the small town of Liberty to Reardon, you know, they're different places, different things, but it's just an incredible place. I just love to be there.